Beckett, and I'm here with James Olin at the EA booth, and we're here to talk about Star Wars. Yes, we are. Say hi to the camera. Hey, guys. <laughs> now, for some people who might not know, which is probably very few out there, explain what you do at Star Wars and at, with EA. Um, so I'm the uh, game director on Star Wars The Old Republic. And you all have a bunch of new features coming out. I actually got to check out a few of them. And so do you want to explain some of these new features and maybe what you're most looking forward to? Yeah, so we have a, a third update coming out. We're calling it Allies. The reason we're calling it Allies is the update's really focused on helping players group up with other players. So some of the things you're going to be seeing are the, um, we're going to be continuing to increase and improve the legacy system. We're adding legacy perks, and that's going to allow you to customize your game experience so you can level up in different ways. If you're a PvP fan, you can focus more on playing PvP when you're leveling up, or if, say, you're a fan of Heroic Quest, you can focus on that. That's what perks is going to do for you. We also have Group Finder. That's probably one of the most asked for features. Um, players want to be able to group up with other players much faster than they currently are able to. So that's being released in Allies as well. Uh, we also have character transfers coming. That's actually not a part of Allies. It's coming before that. It should be very soon. And by very soon, I mean this month. Um, and you'll be able to transfer your character from your current server to a pre-designated other server. So it's a way for players to be able to go to a server that they want to be on instead of if they're not enjoying their experience on their current server. So that's some of the things you're going to be seeing in uh, Update 3. But we have, um, oh, and I would be bad if I didn't mention Ranked War Zones. Ranked War Zones was something we tried to get into Update 2, but we wanted to get some more testing on it and do some more iteration on it. So now it's aimed for um, Update 3. And uh, yeah, Update 3 is coming really soon as well. Now, a lot of our user base, and pe including people who watch a lot of my videos, would say that things like looking for group and guild banks and other features that are coming with update 1.3, that this is something that I kind of expected to already be in the game. And so what would your response be to these players? Well, first of all, guild banks is already in the game because we oh, got yes, in sorry. update two. But uh, um, yeah, no, we wanted to have all these features in the game uh, when we launched. There's even some other features that we wanted to have in the game uh, when we launched. It's just a matter of priority. Uh, MMOs are, I mean, it's a huge game, there's a ton of systems, they all interact. Um, we wanted to have a smooth launch, so whenever you're implementing a system, you have to make sure that it's much more complicated than implementing a system in, say, a single player game, like a Mass Effect, because you have to worry about things like security and, um, you know, working with the server and all kinds of optimization issues, and, yeah, it's, it's a tough problem, and so some of these features we just weren't able to get in um, at ship, and we're getting them in now, and we're hoping that some players who've left the game are going to come back once they see that these new features have got into the game. That's a very fair point, and you got to get it right. you got to yes. get it right the first time. And so, now, going back to character transfers, how is this going to work? Is it going to be paid for or free? Oh, no, yeah, character transfer is going to be free. Okay. Um, and you're going to be able to move your, your character from the server you're on to another server. You're not going to have total freedom on yeah. which server to move to, but um, yeah, you, it will, there'll be no cost to it at all. Is it going to be like select servers are able yeah. to transfer like lower pop ones that want to get to medium or maybe high pop that want to go to smaller? Yeah, right now we're, we're aiming at low pop to uh, medium or high pop. What we want to do, we have a, we have a multi-stage strategy for solving what we find, like, the player's biggest issue with the game right now is they want to have, they want to feel like the world is really populated. Some players are on servers where that's the case, some players are not on servers where that's the case, and those players aren't having as much fun. So, character transfer is the first thing we're doing with that, but we have a whole bunch of other initiatives. I can't talk about them all right now. Some of them are uh, tech, like a uh, new technology that we're bringing into the game that's going to be really exciting, it's going to help us solve the problem. Others are well, I'll just leave it at that. We have we have other um, stages for helping with the population issues. Okay, that sounds good. Now, real quickly, um, I was talking about this with some friends the other day, and this is going to be a completely random question. I'm sorry, uh -oh. but have you ever thought about implementing a unicorn mount with a lightsaber unicorn? Have you ever thought about implementing something like that? Um, yeah, actually, it's come up in a couple of design meetings now. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm just throwing that idea out there now. I'm sure plenty of people watching this would agree that it would be amazing to have that. All right, um, point taken. I'll, I'll make sure to bring it up with the team. <laughs> what feature out of the things that were announced today are you most looking forward to putting into the game and sharing with others? Uh, that's a um, hard question. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, well, there's a lot of stuff we revealed. I think one of the... The thing that, it's not really a feature, it's more of, uh, it's more content, but we reveal the planet of Mekeb. And Mekeb is a story-heavy world, it's a huge world, 
it's actually the size of like a full game. So if you look at any of the games here on the E3 floor, the amount of content in Mikev is, is equivalent to like the content in any of those games. It's, it's a, just a huge world. It's the equivalent of any of the, the bigger worlds in, in Star Wars Little Public. And it's going to have brand new story content The players are going to be able to enjoy. We're upping the level cap so that players will be able to gain more experience points and gain more levels. And I think players are going to be really excited by that because that's something they've been waiting for and they've been asking for. It's something that um, also a lot of the, you know, when uh, I've been asked questions from journalists in the past, they're like, how are you going to continue to deliver the story content on a regular basis? And obviously we want to, and this is our first step towards doing that. And it's going to be a continuation of the class quest. It's going to be, it's basically the highest quality Bioware storytelling that we can do. We've taken all the lessons learned from um, uh, from our, all the work we put into the first 50 levels, and we've actually improved it. So the cinematics are, in my mind, more epic than you've seen before. The storytelling is better. Some of the, um, like, we learned some uh, lessons from doing, uh, from when we were developing the game in terms of storytelling, and I think players are going to find the storytelling on Macap better than anything they've experienced so far. And also, now, it's going to be a shared world, right, between Republic and Empire. They're both going to be on it. Yeah, it's um, it's actually the center of the Galactic Conflict. Um, the Hut Cartel is starting to get involved in the Galactic Conflict between the Sith Empire and the Republic, and they're focused on this one world in the Keb. So it's really with dealing about dealing with the Hut Cartel, either as the Sith or the Republic. Okay. Are there going to be, like, some PvP spots throughout it to where... It, Know, maybe like a questing zones that are really close together and just prime spots for PvP because there are quite a few people that are like, yeah, open world PvP, everybody. So. Well, I think what we're going to find is you're going to have a lot more natural open world PvP happening, occurring on the cap because you're going to have a huge amount of players going to it at the same time. So the population is going to be a lot higher. And when you have a lot more people on both sides interacting, it's just naturally going to occur. We also have we have a lot of initiatives for open world PvP, both on you know just uh, your typical world level up worlds, and then also for more organized open world PvP. Um, we're not talking about that right now, but I can say we have a whole team devoted to it. Awesome! I bet people are gonna be really excited to hear that. It's just been everywhere. So, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Oh yeah, thank you. It's fun talking to you.